Hi, I'm Major Jeff Martin, um, presently the Secretary for Education at the Western Territory. I I'd like to talk a little bit today about uh, preparing for sermons. Uh, sermon series are things that I've always thought were a great way to not only do a good job of preparing your congregation, but to actually um, equip yourself with a greater knowledge of the Bible. Sometimes if you just uh, preach on whatever comes to mind each week, you don't really get a chance to develop yourselves in areas that uh, you might not commonly go to otherwise. For that reason, I used to, when I was in the, my core appointments, I would look at my calendar and lay out all the holidays, and I know I'm going to have some Christmas sermons leading up to Christmas. I know I'm going to have some Easter sermons leading up to Easter. And I know I'm going to have a, maybe a Valentine sermon or a Mother's Day sermon. And so I lay out the calendar and put all those down. Then I look, where are the spots in between? Sometimes I might find four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. Or sometimes it's only two or three, but it doesn't matter. But take the spaces that you find in between those things that you need to do on the calendar and then start building your sermon series. And start looking in places where perhaps you never would have thought of looking if you were just kind of thinking about what to preach about. Do a series through an entire book. Um, if you find a short book, you can do a short four-week series, perhaps a longer book. It might take a little bit longer, and you can jump in and out of a series. So if you, have, if you take the book of Isaiah, um, and you've got 66 chapters, and if you want to do a chapter each Sunday, well, you're going to have to chop that up uh, and do your little holiday sermons in between. But you can, you can begin to build your own understanding of Scripture by forcing yourself to do something in a series. Sometimes some passages are not that uh, easy to preach on, but uh, as you begin developing your messages, wherever the message comes from, start with that perhaps Old Testament passage and see what it has to teach you and then point the people to Christ. So you take that Old Testament teaching and look to see how it points us to Christ. If you're preaching from the New Testament, look for that uh, reference to the Old Testament, perhaps to illustrate your sermons. There are so many beautiful illustrations in the Old Testament that are often neglected. But if you will find that passage that uh, you're really passionate on preaching about that particular Sunday, uh, you're, you want to point the people to Christ first and foremost but then you'll want to illustrate it with uh, passages from the scripture as well as other stories and things you, you may come up with. But as you preach the Old Testament, you're going to find lots of things that will um, help you to understand the New Testament better. The New Testament really cannot be understood completely without the knowledge of what's in the Old Testament. So I encourage you to look for ways to begin building your own skills in areas of the Bible that uh, you're not thoroughly familiar with right now. That will make you a better preacher. That will make you a better student of the Word of God.